Welcome back, birdies, to another episode of Raven's Nest. If this is your first time tuning in, I am Raven. And I'm Raven. And today we will be doing our Ratchet, Ratchet episode. episode. But of course, since it's Pride, we'll have it a little Prideified. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I saw a couple of memes I thought was funny. Let me see if I can have them up. Um, hold up. It said, bottoms suck at cuddling. Three minutes in, they be like, I got a question and don't lie. <laughs> I'm a bottom because <laughs> that's me. <laughs> um, I was just about to say, I don't even think it's bottoms, but when you put yeah. it like that, I'm definitely a bottom. Uh-huh. So, um, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm a top two. <laughs> um, but no, I, uh, yeah, I definitely have to agree. Um, that's me all the time. Like, I definitely don't think it's a bottom thing. Shoot, I feel like tops be doing the same thing, like, they trying to hold you in the uh, I don't know. I feel like niggas, they never wanted to have, like, why we got to get into this, man? We having a good time, so. Well, that's true. However, that's probably because you're not usually doing some sneaky shit, so. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, I'm all the way real. I don't got nothing to hide. You do. Mm-hmm. So, you don't even want to go that route because you like, I ain't trying to tell on myself, so. Girl, uh, I would say this, like, not now, but I used to be, it used to be to where, like, if I got that, like, I got a question type thing, I'd be like, shoot, me too. I've been holding on to this because I know I've been fucking up. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> yeah, I used to be horrible. Yeah, I was toxic. For so, real. you're not toxic no more? When I need to be. <laughs> only when it's warranted. I only pull her out when it's warranted. So, um, let's see. You got another one? Yeah. Yeah. So I said, hey, straight people, I bet you've never done a Google search to check if your travel destination will arrest you for being straight. Happy Pride, motherfuckers. And I was like, what? And I actually did say, see that you can go to jail for being gay in some countries or whatever. So I was just like, that is a freaking shocker. Like, I wish. I mean, I don't. (laughs) But, yeah. And then a lot of countries, too, you can't even show PDA at all. So it's like, uh uh-uh. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say like that. Uh, it's crazy. Um, actually, I have a. Of course, it wasn't going out the country or anything, uh-huh. but um, I had this incident where uh, me and my ex girlfriend were like kissing at work. We weren't even at. I mean, we were at work. We worked together, but we had went like. Um, so there's like the work parking lot right outside of the work parking mm-hmm. lot. Um, like they we couldn't smoke on property, so. Yeah we would always, like, cross the little median and go to the next parking lot mm-hmm. because technically we're not on property anymore. So we always smoked right there. Um, we just uh, so happened to, like, kiss or whatever on break. Um, and, like, do you know they tried to write us up for that? And they was, like, we were kissing, like, on – first they said on the clock, whatever. Mm-hmm. We weren't on the clock. We were on the lunch. They was, like, well, if it was a break, you're still on the clock. No, we were on lunch. Mm-hmm. So on lunch, we're not on the clock. Then we uh, – they was like, okay, well, you were kissing like on property, like you're not supposed to be doing. We weren't on property, and so I was like, I mean, I've seen other couples at this job because y'all, it was hell, it was a ratchet job, y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was like, we've seen people kiss, mm-hmm. like I ain't never seen them in the office because of it. And the one of the managers was like, look, I definitely believe it has a lot to do with, you know, y'all being girls or whatever. But because somebody was offended and because somebody said something like. We gotta write y'all up, and I was like, I'm not. I don't f- understand, cause what are, what is the write up for? Exactly, but I was like, I'm not signing this shit, like, yeah. and I meant it. Um, but yeah, like I've actually had an incident where again I was discriminated against for being. I, I don't know. I think it's. I mean, that's not the only incident, but that's I guess the closest I could have came to like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. Like. I, you try to hit me with something, I boom, I back door, mm-hmm. and then you try to, uh, no. like Exactly. Like, so I'm not you a, just got to tell the person, like, I'm sorry, you were bothered, but there's nothing that we can do. Exactly. Because they weren't wrong. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, that was a whole little incident. But I don't know. I feel like people just need to grab the hell up. Like, at the end of the day, don't get me wrong, I can understand, some, I can understand not being comfortable with something. Um, mm-hmm. However, I feel like, again, it, you have to really – Think about what it means to be to discriminate against someone. Like if somebody straight or in honor of Juneteenth, um, if somebody's black, like if somebody's whatever it is, like 
if somebody was the opposite of that, would it really offend you that much? Like, and that's what it comes down to. And I just feel like even with that job, like you shouldn't, if somebody straight was doing it, y'all wouldn't have had a problem. Mm -hmm. So what is what do you mean by if somebody was offended or if somebody it bothers somebody? So what? Yeah, it bothers a lot of people that I'm black. You gonna write me up for that too? Mm -hmm. Like, if they probably could, they would. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. it, yeah, I don't know. I definitely feel like again, people need to grow up. Like I didn't say. Uh, matter of fact, the episode when Raven um had to uh when Raven had some stuff to handle when I had my daughter on the show, I did not say this because she was there, but. Mm -hmm. If it's not, if the way I look at it, if you're not fucking or feeding me or paying my bills, like, we don't really have much to discuss. So, I feel like everybody should kind of, like, live by that. Because if it's... Yeah. But people are extra sensitive. So, people just be in their feelings for anything. Like... Go be in your feelings by yourself. <laughs> nah, for real, though. Because <laughs> that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, I, I, I feel like the world would be a better place if it came down to it. It would. It would. Um... The other one says, uh, when he says, choke me, daddy, and you get carried away, and now he's dead. <laughs> Woo! Now, first of all, I ain't choking no nigga, so, of course, this is nigga on nigga. But um, if I say choke me, please don't choke me until I'm dead now. Golly. <laughs> See, I'm not like that. Um, but, uh, no, and I will choke a nigga. I don't give a damn. Um, I don't discriminate. But, <laughs> um, you know, like. Just for me, just right before I pass out. Like, don't let me pass out. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all, but nah. Um, yeah, no. I, I, I definitely get through it, though. <laughs> and then um, they had the whole Johnny Depp and Amber. I don't even know what her last name is, but Case or whatever. And it said, Johnny Depp, the first man to ever win an argument with a woman. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. You go, Johnny. Because the stuff that, I, don't, I didn't even follow it like that, but the stuff that she was doing was like, but I heard she was on my, like, I didn't uh, follow that either, but my daughter did. Uh -huh. um, and she was kind of touching on it here and there. But it sounded like the girl was, like, full of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, all the stuff that she said, it was, like, crazy. Like, oh, I have I, I can't even look at him. And then it's literally videos of her looking at him during court. I thought you said you couldn't look at him. Like, you know, um, it was just, like, off-the-wall stuff. Like, girl, just... If I was out of it, like, all right, I forfeit. He wins. Like, <laughs> for real, that would have been better. Up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you're going to falsely accuse somebody or something, um, rehearse. Like, think about it. Write it down. Memorize it. Like, yeah. Um, and I am in no way telling people to falsely accuse anybody of anything. Let me give that disclaimer. Um, but yeah, like I feel like you should at least like you should have thought this all the way through. Yeah, clearly she didn't, or maybe she did, and she just saw that his defense uh, team was like just bringing it, so she had to try, try to, to win. It. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this other one said companies on the first of June be like, and it's all this gay stuff, and they were like, I'm not gay anymore, which I get because that is very true. However, like if it's Christmas, it's Christmas season. What are we about to do? Everybody about to have their house uh, with the trees and the lights and all that. So we just we just helping you celebrate, you know. Man. I don't think nothing's wrong with that. It was funny because uh, my sister, her uh, my sister's girlfriend, she was like, uh, oh, I don't know if I ever told y'all this. Yes, my sister is, <laughs> and this is my sister's sister, and I know. Uh, um, but yeah, so her my sister's gay too. But yeah, my sister's girlfriend, I, when we were going to Pride, and I was like. My sister's not gonna be here for a prize. Mm -hmm. Like I was mad because we always go together, and she was like, "I was like, so are you going?" And she was like, "I mean, I'm not gay, gay. Like I don't do like the gay, gay stuff. Like I'm just gay. Like I don't." Yeah. She was like, "That's, that's <laughs> a little too gay for me." Like <laughs> that's um, funny, and they can say that. I mean, that, that's their prerogative. Yeah. You know? Like don't get me wrong, I get, I go gay, gay for a pride. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, not for. I mean, any other day, like. No, it's just yeah. I am what I am. But for pride, like I mean, I feel, I feel like you that. gotta celebrate. Like, like with me, I love Halloween. I'm not Halloween every day, but baby, when it's season, I'm ready. Yeah, and on top of that, <laughs> I actually was about to say I go gay gay for uh, uh, Halloween too, because um, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but Halloween here, yeah. Um, as far as like the gay community, we we do the most. Like, it's fun. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Like straight mm -hmm. people and everything. Ravens definitely been. Um, 
I've had some homeboys that have went like, mm-hmm. and they're straight. Cause it's just, I mean, it's dope, you know. Yeah. Except no phone signal, and I don't like that shit at all. Cause it's three million people out there. Yeah, I don't like that <laughs> shit. They need to build more towers. Like, get some temporary towers there in this time. Like, we already know what's about to be some signal boosters. Or yeah, something, something. something. <laughs> uh, this other one says, I hate, which I really found a lot towards dudes, but it says, I hate one bottom say, I'm so wet, bitch. That's the doo doo. <laughs> Okay, wait, no. <laughs> wait, because I got to. What? Because now I don't really like this, but I will get into the fact that I have done it. Like, mm-hmm. And I think it's really possible. <laughs> I don't know how. Don't get me wrong. Um, or maybe it just could be from, like, you know, the other uh-huh. areas. But, yeah. <laughs> It might be possible. I don't know. That was funny as fuck. I, I, that was that was my face. That's disgusting <laughs> is what it is. Um, but I think. Um, opinions are like assholes. I'm always giving mine to men. <laughs> <laughs> That's but. funny. It's definitely a gay joke because I'm not always giving mine to nobody. Uh, then it's like two dudes talking and it was like, you came in my eye. And he said, you said you would watch the kids. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> like um uh, you shouldn't have been talking like that if you was about it okay this is a disclaimer for a uh, gay and straight community don't let the people oh, that is horrible that like, is i be- i have had a friend and that has happened but it was by accident and her eye was red for a minute like was, was like, that friend no oh because i've had that friend mm-mm. That but is horrible don't do this i yet. have i do recall now that you're saying it i do recall that with you as well but nah mm it was like, damn, bitch. Yeah, like, um, don't nobody want pink eye. Like, because that's what it, it gives, def- it definitely gives pink eye. Yeah. Out. Like, it's horrible. Like, <laughs> I have been thinking I'm going blind. So, yeah, don't do that. Let's see. Hold up. <laughs> I thought this was cute. And this for, it's from somewhere, but I don't know where it's from. But it was like, once in fifth grade, this kid called me a homo. And I thought it meant homeless. And I was so confused. I said, but Jeremy, you've been to my house. <laughs> no, he was calling you gay. <laughs> Girl, that's funny. Um, I ran an age. This literally reminds me of my boys. Like, they were, they didn't remind me of two situations with my boys. One of them, uh, so my oldest, yesterday, like, they argue over everything. My boys are literally a year apart. So um, yesterday, we were looking at Father's Day stuff, and he was like, uh, the youngest, he was like leaning over the oldest shoulder, and he was like, "So and so." He's like, "Oh my gosh, you're breathing on me!" And he was like, "I wasn't even breathing." Like you're like, and we were like, "What the?" F-? Like <laughs> kids say anything. Yeah, they do. But um, the homo thing made me think about my oldest again. He was in like third grade, and he had gotten in trouble for rowing. His teacher called and told me he was throwing crayons across the room into the crayon box mm-hmm. instead of just putting <laughs> them up, and so. All right, when he got home, I'm like, so what's up? Like, what, what's going on with you? Why are you throwing these mm-hmm. um, in the box or whatever? Uh, throwing crayons across the room. He was like, and I said, what did you do in class? And he said, I was just throwing crayons in the box. No homo. Like, <laughs> what? what? Like, <laughs> like, what does it mean? Please, let yes, me know. I was like, because there's you, obviously a new meaning. Right? I ain't up on game like, what is it. throwing? Like, is it because they're rainbow? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was so confused, but. That's the only thing. Look, I didn't even think of that. Maybe that. Maybe that's because I was, was thinking hard. Like, because I was extremely confused. Like, I don't know what yeah. y'all be saying this for, but I don't think I used it right. <laughs> and that's funny too, because like back in hmm, 2010, everybody no homo, no homo. I love you, bro. No homo. I guess that shit done faded down. <laughs> yeah, because I used to always say yes, homo. <laughs> that's cute. Just to be the opposite. <laughs> um, and the last one I has have. It says, me in middle school when kids would ask me if I'm gay. No, I don't even know why she would say that. Me now. <laughs> no, knowing y'all asses was gay the whole time. Because I know I'd be looking at people I went to school with, because I went to an all girl school. And it, it pretty much, if you was in a band, we was like, you gay. And I was in the band for like two weeks. I got out. <laughs> but, uh, Girl, and everybody listening. would be like, they weren't gay or whatever. And now we all have social media. Mm. What's funny is that scenario sounds like most of most girls, a lot of fems in the gay community, which is like two weeks in and I'm out. Like when oh, it comes wow. down to like girls we wanted to be gay. To yeah, like girls we want to be gay till it comes down to like, oh, it's time to give head or it's time to like and they'd be like, mm, I'm out. So yeah, that definitely sounds like no. Yeah, people trying to be gay. Um I couldn't no, I couldn't ever. 
Like, uh uh-uh, don't you even touch me. What the fuck? Girl, for me, (laughs) but for my school, it was the basketball team. If you were on the basketball, if you was a female on the basketball team, like, you was gay. For the most part. I could see that. Or, like, any kind of sports. Mm -hmm. Like, I could see that. Hey, I was... uh, I mean, I'm just saying, I I was I was about to say I was sporty, and then, yeah. Yeah. That was proving your point. (laughs) I'm trying to think out here... They didn't have anything like that at the school I went to. Like, it didn't matter. But but I will definitely say, I was at an all-girls school, and then I went to this uh, co-ed school, and I had more gay interactions, like seeing it, people trying to talk to me here than I did at the all-girls school. I literally cried. I remember that, because I was just like, what the fuck? Like, this was a whole new world for me. Girl, actually, that puts me in the mind of something else. Like, when it comes down to straight girls or guys and being around gay people that's what that makes me think of like because you cry i'm not sure i'm sure because i know you well enough to know that it was probably a little bit more to it but yeah like people acting like just because we're gay like we automatically got to be attracted to you oh no yeah like i mean i think that, like shoot two straight people don't have to like each other exactly like, yeah i'm not attracted to you you're not my type or maybe you are cute but you just lame like it's yeah different like, things. but It'd be like those little homophobic people that just be, oh, because I'm gay, like, I gotta want you, or mm-hmm. I want your girl, or... Nah, that's not even the case. Like, exactly. Because nah. I'm picky, so... Yeah, uh-uh. I, I am, too. Even when it comes to niggas, well, that's all I talk to, so... <laughs> but niggas, like, I'm, I'm picky. Like, I ain't talking to everybody. Mm-mm. Yeah, and then I'm pickier when it comes to females, especially, like... Why? Um, especially sex-wise. Um, just because, I mean... Being honest, when you give it a girl head, like, you have no choice but to, like, go mm-hmm. all in. Like, so, I got to be extra picky. Like, no. No, I'm really picky, so. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That's disgusting. And then what was I watching? I think it was on TikTok. This girl was, like, this dude was giving her head, and she was like, I think he was trying to for real ass eat. Like, he was trying to get a meal. I was like, oh, Lord. I told you. You told me that? Yes, we was walking <laughs> down the stairs <laughs> recently. I'm trying to think, what did you say? It was me, you, and uh, I was like, like he, I was like, he was for real trying to eat. Like, he was, like, chewing. Like, I was like, he was trying yes, to, like, chew or something. Yes, you did say that. Damn. Look, I, I knew it was recent. <laughs> I just thought it was on TikTok. Yeah, I love TikTok. That's my shit. <laughs> well, obviously, because you thought it was, you confused it with real life. <laughs> Everything, like, for real, for real. It, it, it really is. That's my friend. I ain't gonna say, I be on TikTok, but I don't, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I do not be on TikTok, but I watch TikTok videos that, you know, get on Instagram. Yeah, um, that, that should be old. Yeah, get the well, old filtered stuff. That's cool because I only like it for, yeah, and this is how I know I'm getting old. I only like it for, um, like, hex at home. Like, I whether mean, that's it cool, be. But you can look that up and get it new and fresh real time versus. I mean, I ended up having to look it up anyway because I save so much stuff on Instagram that I'm never going through all that shit. But um, I usually go on Google or something and just yeah. type in what I'm looking for, and it'd be a TikTok video. So. Yeah. Just go straight to the source. Yeah, girl, I done learned um, new ways to fold my clothes and organize my drawers, um, ways mm-hmm. to clean stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, that's Same what I'd be watching. That's that's the only thing I... I have photos on TikTok with all of that. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even know how to create a photo on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I barely know how to watch videos, and that's the first thing that happens. Yeah. It, it's easy as fuck, you know, when you first get on there, they'll give you instructions, do this, do this, do this, and if you just follow... I don't it, know TikTok right now, I'm gonna tell me what to do. Girl, they, they're teaching you. Of course, you can go ahead and bypass it, but since you don't know, it that's why be because I bypass it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It's very, it's very simple. But when we first got Instagram, we was like that. We was like, what the fuck? And when no, when that when we first got it, when they tried to make some changes, I remember everybody. Oh, yeah, was I was like, gonna say because I was cool with it when I first got it. It was the changes that was. Yeah, me. everybody was like, mm-mm. and look, the Snapchat changes. What changed with Snapchat? I don't remember it ever changing. Girl, it's changed a few times. Even most recently, like with I know, the but that's. That's that's filters. Yeah, but like before that, it was like, I like think. to use the device, it never changed. Like the app, it never oh, changed. Okay, okay, it's always been like they've made upgrades to it. Yeah. But I remember Instagram was, was completely different. We was just like, what? Yeah, because I was just telling somebody else that like that's why I allowed my daughter to have Instagram so young because initially you couldn't send messages, you couldn't. Uh, mm-hmm. It was just literally pictures. pictures. Like it was nothing else. Like any comments I'd be able to see. Mm-hmm. And that was that. So initially, when she asked for Instagram, I was like, "Oh, sure." Yeah. Like it was just that. Then the upgrades, I was like, "Wait a minute, yeah. no." Like mm-hmm. so, yeah. That definitely it definitely was a big change. I mean, I guess it was still upgrades wise, but y'all like r- completely kind of revamped. 
Yeah. yeah. So, speaking of revamping, I am going to touch on the fact that that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, like, y'all will see a lot, a lot, a lot of new things, um, a lot of things changing when it comes to Raven's Nest. Um, it has been, y'all probably noticed, it's been a task, I guess. Uh, Bitch, it's been more than a task. It's been the Olympics. Y'all just don't know. Yeah, for real. It's been a, it's been an extreme task getting. Um, I need an award, a gold medal. No, I for need real. that flame. I need all of it. But again, with the, all these new changes, hopefully, I mean, we'll definitely get to that point. Uh, awards, medals, all that, because we are definitely trying to give y'all a better show. Um, so, yeah, y'all will be noticing a lot of, lot of changes. Um, so yeah, definitely be looking out for those. Um, we will be reaching out for a lot of viewer involved involvement. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't for. know what you're trying to say. Viewer involvement. <laughs> um, y'all's input. Um, y'all's questions. Y'all, we will be definitely involving ourselves with communicating with y'all a lot more. Um, so yeah, definitely be looking out for those things. Uh, shoot, it was something I was about to say. What was it? Oh, I was about to uh, say one thing that we were supposed to discuss with our previous guest. Um, versus, like, you, when you originally, like, identify with your sexuality versus now, like, the time change. Like, what has that been like for you? Um, in all honesty, there has not been much change for me. Um, only because... Like I said, it came down to me kind of. I just want, when I said, like I said, I know y'all probably haven't heard it, but um, it came down to me really just when I came out. It was like I'm me. This is who I am. The end. And but, when I came out, like. But when did you come out? I came out um, when I was 16. So of course, with coming out, like, did were you afraid at first, and then you finally did it? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like versus you being afraid to come out, whereas now, like kids nowadays, like, oh yeah, mom, I'm gay. Oh yeah, like, okay. it's a huge difference. Like okay, I, I see. <laughs> um, so, I was of course very scared, and I feel like even now, I feel like people are still really scared to come out. Um, just because it's a again, I hate that we even have to come out, but I feel like it's still just like okay, like what is everybody going to think? Because regardless of how much the world has changed, mm -hmm. um, and that the world is more open to it, you don't know how your family's going to react, like yeah. the people closest to you. So. Um, even with that being said, I was, yeah, I was terrified. Um, it just really came down to me finding someone that I liked enough mm -hmm. to just say, fuck it. Um, and then that goes to what I said. Like the, um, but yeah, kids these days, like when I say young, I mean mm -hmm. like young. They be young. young. They be like six years old. Like how, how the fuck you know this? Okay. I might be exaggerating just a bit. No, but, but in all honesty, you do know around the age. Well, a lot of people know. Let Correct. me. Let me. But, I, but I'm talking. We just say coming out. Like yeah. at six years old, they're yeah. not coming out. I was exaggerating on that part. No, they are. I've never it, seen that. Yeah, like they are definitely coming out pretty young. But I mean, and then I, again, like I said, in all honesty, it's a good thing for me. Like, in my opinion, um, because yeah, I did know that young mm -hmm. that I like girls. Like, and maybe had it been like this, I probably would have came out a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, I definitely, yeah, I definitely can see that somebody coming out at six because I know uh, my baby daddy was showing me this video of this uh, little boy on the pole, like mm -hmm. I don't know, little boy's a pro for starters. Um, but he was like, I, I mean, just, these kids, period, they're they're pros at anything. They do hair, makeup, not for all real. Of that, like so. I seen like a little four, that little four year old or something doing mm -hmm. hair. Like, bro, I can't even braid that good. Yeah, I can't braid it at all. Yeah, so but this little boy, yeah, when I say this little boy, I might matter of fact. We're going to put the link in there because y'all got to see this boy. Uh, we've definitely been to get his views up because I'm telling you. Like, I was like, bro, remember I took that pole dancing class for exercise mm -hmm. one time ago? Bro, I could barely get on the pole, mm -hmm. let alone do a lot half of the stuff he was doing. Mm -hmm. Like, Yeah, maybe his mama was a stripper and he just learned he got it, honestly. Maybe, maybe. I mean, it has to be the case because I believe from the video that they're in the house mm -hmm. um, and the pole is in the house. So. There we go. Yeah. Uh, she, she be taking a shower, he be up on the pole twerking. <laughs> girl, because that boy's a fool. Like, and I know my baby daddy was like, I can't. He was like, I don't know. He was like, I mean, he's a mm -hmm. beast, but I don't know if I can just really entertain it. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I mean, don't even wrong. As a mother, I don't think I can. Entertain yeah, even it. if it was a girl, like I wouldn't want you. First of all, I've been to 
Yeah. All I thought was so, like, mm-hmm. all I thought about was legacy, and I can just picture me just knocking her off yeah. the Yeah. Uh uh-uh, uh uh. Nah, like that's not cool, bro. <laughs> no. Cool. Um. So yeah, it's, I don't feel like it has anything to do with like gay bashing or hate or anything like that. But no, I'm knocking my kid off the pole. I don't yeah. care. The you and the pole going down. I feel Cause, that. Because like your kid shouldn't even have access to mm-hmm. your pole. Like, no, your pole should probably be in your room. You should keep keep your uh door closed, or you should mm-hmm. be taking it uh up and down, up and down. For real, because that's no. Yeah. No, or, I mean, knowing me, if I had one, I'd just be like, um, I could just picture myself telling Lexi, like, that's for us to escape in case of a fire. I had a pole, and uh, definitely, that's what we did. We kept the door closed. That was it. Like, you don't come in our room. And that was it. You don't got to answer nothing. Mm -mm. So. When the heck did you have a pole? When we lived in Hillcrest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know your story. Mm -hmm. Because you know I got all types of stories, mom. So, there you go. (laughs) <laughs> I was just telling somebody, uh, somebody uh, was, my homegirl came over yesterday. I haven't seen her in a long time. And she was like, uh, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to bring the kids over um, on Monday. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Can they read? Can they read? <laughs> my room. The stuff in my room. Oh, house. okay. <laughs> and I was like, can they read? And she was like, a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to keep them downstairs. <laughs> like, because I, I don't really let my kids come in my room. My room is definitely um, not PG-13. Um, and my kids can definitely read. Mm-hmm. But, uh so yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with you know. Yeah, you gotta I, shelter them a little bit. You know, when the time is right, then you can you know. But mm-mm. <laughs> so yeah, um, what uh, it was something else I had wanted to talk about. So I seen this post. that says, "This is Gay Pride," and it has like a picture of. People marching with the flag, but uh, not the flag. The um, like back in the day with the the stake and the poster thing or whatever. Oh, okay. Like it has that, and this is this is gay pride. I don't know what the fuck this is, and it has like, yeah, I know how we are at pride. It's not if you're not gay or part of the LGBTQ plus community, then you know um, we be out there wilding, like dudes mm-hmm. being thongs. Like, girl, so I brought my daughter to pride this year. This is the first year. Um, because she, like I said, she's been asking forever. Um, and she was a little bit, well, a lot of bit younger, but she probably was about seven. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had came from Pride, and I had, like, all this stuff, like, on the mm-hmm. couch. And um, I, she asked to see some pictures. I showed her, of course, the pictures that were appropriate mm-hmm. for her to see. And one of them said, like, I love my gay mom or something like mm-hmm. that. And she was like, why you didn't let me go? Like, And I was like, I just, one, I get fucked up at prom, yeah. I mean, prom. <laughs> I get fucked up at Pride. So that was part of the reason I never let her go. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, again, dudes be in thongs. Yeah. Like, people be have on the mm-hmm. most minimal amount of clothes. So that was my reasoning. Um, she's asked year after year after year after year. Um, my sister finally told her, like, you know, when you're in high school, you can go. So this year, well, last year I was like, oh, COVID. No, mm-hmm. you can't go. Like, this year I really didn't have no choice. So, um and she did hit me with because I tried to mm-hmm. come up with some. She was like, but I thought you would never lie to me. Yeah. Like, oh, damn. So I was like, so we had to go. Anyway, we were during the parade. Everything's going pretty smoothly. We're having fun. And then this one dude had these rainbow pants on. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, mama, look at him. And then he turned around and it was assless chaps. And she was like, <laughs> she was like I was like, yes, yeah, <laughs> That's funny. I was like, this is why I didn't let you go before. Mm-hmm. But um, she was like, I just was not expecting yeah. it. And I was like, I mean, I, w- I was, of course. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, of course, she's a sophomore now. So, yeah, I mean, what's a little booty cheek? I mean, I'm pretty sure she's seen more <laughs> than that on, on TV. So Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely, uh, I definitely can see what they mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, again, it's just, I feel like pride is about just, People being themselves, like, yes, it's gay pride, yes, it's LGBTQ+, plus, and I feel like that's the plus. It just comes with you being yourself, whatever yeah. the hell that means. Like, I tell people a lot, like, I don't dress the way I dress for attention. Mm-hmm. I don't do it because um, I'm looking for a man or a female. Mm-hmm. Like, I do it because it's how I'm comfortable. Yeah. Like, y'all, if they allowed me to walk around naked, I probably would. Mm-hmm. And, it's again, it's not for attention just because that's how I'm the most comfortable. Yeah. Um. So... Yeah, I think it just comes down to you being you and whatever that means for you. So. I agree all the time. Look, baby, I'm going to be comfortable for mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> I do try, don't get me wrong, again, when it comes to being around kids and all that kind of stuff, I definitely tone it down mm-hmm. um, or tone it up, however you want to look at it. Like. 
<laughs> but with that being said, like outside of that, mm-hmm. yeah, and I it's and I honestly even that I feel like comes with I feel like in society's input has a lot to do with why I dress certain ways around kids. Um because one, if it's my friend's kids, mm-hmm. I wanna be respectful. Yeah. Same if it's my friend's dude or mm-hmm. my sister's girlfriend. Like when they come over, like, hold on, give me a second. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I'm yeah, appropriate. I think that's appropriate. Um for what I feel like again, for what I feel like isn't disrespectful. Like comfortable or not, I feel like you should be respectful mm-hmm. of people in their uh of people and how they feel about things like only people you care about though because yeah yeah society i can give a damn about um but again i feel like taking my daughter to pride that's something i mm-hmm. i expected i knew it was going to be there and i prepared myself yeah. and that's kind of how i feel like people should look at it just in everyday life like mm-hmm. you know there are gay people in the world prepare yourself for it yeah like you know that it's out sense. there expect it so yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, when it comes down to people I care about, like, I'm going to respect my sister. I'm going to respect, um, the fact that she has a girlfriend mm-hmm. and I should put on clothes. Like, yeah. Same if I'm around you and mm-hmm. whoever you're talking to. Um, so yeah, again, it just boils down to a respect thing and acceptance. I yeah. don't know. So. No, I feel that a hundred percent. Definitely. Cause I have had friends who dress like, you know, a little bit more provocative, and shit, when well, nigga come on up, hey, you gonna put something on? Like, you know, because exactly. yeah. I don't even feel like you should have to say that. Because, like, mm-hmm. again, it's about yeah. respect. And especially, like, again, you said homegirl. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm your homegirl, like, I know I need to put some yeah. damn clothes on before he get Like, don't get me wrong. If we're going somewhere and I'm wearing something mm-hmm. that's showing something, like, I don't feel like that's being yeah, disrespectful. Yeah, I'm about to wear this in the public. So exactly. Like, so I don't feel like that's so much being disrespectful. But, again, when it comes down to, like, if I'm at your house or mm-hmm. you're at my house, and I know you're coming. Mm-hmm. Put, I'm gonna put some yeah. down. Like I'm not finna. But just, some people also feel like, don't get me wrong, this hasn't happened. But shit, this my house. Like you know, because even with dogs, like they'll be like, I'm gonna put my dog up. Like this my house. So it's funny. I just made my sister time about that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, it's your house. But that's also your friend. Mm-hmm. Like that's your friend's man. Yeah. You don't. I don't feel like you should wanna. You should want to put clothes on in your home to. Respect your friend. Yeah, so. I agree. But again, so like some people don't care if you're afraid of dogs. You've been attacked. Like this is my house. This is my dog. Like you know. But luckily, I have not had that issue. So and I'm girl, good. I do have to respect that when it comes down to like cats and dogs because I don't do cats mm-hmm. like at all. I'm terrified of cats, y'all. So when I come over to your house, I'm like, you got cats? Yeah. Like I stay out here. Mm-hmm. I don't need mine. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't tripping. I go home. Like. Yeah. No, nah, definitely when people come to my house, I will put Harley up. And he is a small breed. So mm-hmm. I don't care, but I want you to feel comfortable. And if I know that you're afraid, I'm not about to torment you or anything like that. Yeah. And it ain't going to kill him to be in there. I ain't nobody finna torment my ass because I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. I do not do cats. Um, But, yeah, like I've had people like try to talk me into it. Like, oh, he's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, he's quiet. He's, um, he's just going to go yeah. hide over there. And I'm going to go hide out here. Mm-mm. Like, I can't do it. So, yeah, yeah. I definitely – um, But – my sister and her dogs, like, those are, are my nephews. Like, mm-hmm. don't look at it any other way. Um, so, with that being said, she ain't, she more than likely ain't putting them up. Um, yeah. But I made her this line. It said, um, what did it say? Oh, if you're uh, scared of my dogs, I'll be more than happy to lock you in the room until you're ready to leave. <laughs> like, because yeah. that's definitely my sister. Uh, that's cute. Alrighty, guys. Well, definitely go ahead and leave us some feedback on our comments and, you know, like and leave some reviews. We do appreciate it. And until next time.